wish I knew na like there are good kubetas in movies. <laughs> as in like kubetas, as in like washroom, like the toilets. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. And today na si Eastwood po kami. And we're gonna talk about the things we wish we knew before entering UP. Kasi it's graduation season na. And a lot of people are entering UP na this year. Congrats mga bagong scholar ng bayan. I'm with my cousin, Therese Tamas and Justine the Bladders. So your next tip is that you have to ask the older batches for OTs. So OTs are Old Testaments. So basically, you know, mga notes nila from the previous semester or for that subject. In UP naman, you don't have to buy books because usually there are books yung upper batches. And makakatipid ka ng sobra if you ask them for older books and notes. So sa akin naman yung tip ko, alamin nyo kung an ano yung ruta ng ikot tsaka toki. Kasi ako nung freshie ako, nag-ikot ako, di ba? Tapos kasi yung ikot, tumalabas yun ng UP. So parang nung lumabas ako, nasa may kustaligas na ako, nawala-wala na ako. Kung kayo magpapani kasi babalik ko dyan sa UP. So yun. Alamin yung ruta nun kasi syempre, yung classes nyo kalat-kalat naman. And pag nalaman nyo yun, hindi kayo malilit. Hindi kayo mapapago sa kakalaman. Nung next namin yung masyashare ay to know the places in your places. Sobrang laki nga ng campus. Kailangan alam mo kung ano yung buildings, like ano yung acronym na NIX, ano ba yan, kung saan kong place yan. So one thing I wish I knew before I got into UP and before classes started was that no one really minds pag nag-ask ka ng mga question regarding places. Because I thought before na parang would make, people would make fun of you kasi you don't know your way. And it's super normal to be lost in UP. So don't be scared to ask like higher batches, the guards, or anyone you see around. I wish I knew na like there are good kubetas in UP. <laughs> as in like kubetas, as in like washroom, like the toilets. Kasi as a mga art talaga, ayaw ko talaga nagpupunta kung saan-saan. Kailangan alam mo kung saan yung mga like best spots to poop. If you need to poop, it's maarte yung mga pwede nyo. Here's some examples lang. Nicks, Edog, Stat, and then Eco. So, since pa last year na ako sa UP Life, kinaka-regret ko ay hindi ako mas maagang sumari ng org. So, ayun, habang freshie pa kayo, alamin nyo na yung mga orgs na pasok sa interest nyo, sa hobbies nyo, kasi sa org talaga, mag-grow ka talaga as a person and makakilala ka talaga ng iba't ibang mga tao. PMS! Give the PMS. best! <laughs> Three minutes of the best! During enlistment, that's important then na uh, you have to space out your schedule. So, pag first time mo mag-enlist, makikita mo na parang same yung time ng lahat ng classes. So, parang lahat yung time nila, 11 to 1.30, parang mga ganun. So, you have to remember na feeling mo, kaya mo magtuloy-tuloy na class within the day but it's also important that you give yourself the time to breathe kasi lalo na pag exams is tuloy-tuloy yung exams or if you have to submit a lot of things is tuloy-tuloy yung classes mo sobrang mag-burn out ka you have to remember to always give yourself some time to rest and to calm down in between classes so in college, hindi may iwasan na we have a lot of requirements we have a lot of readings and a lot of things to accomplish So in UP, sobrang daming libraries around, and isa na doon, like life hack, CS Live is open 24 hours every day, as in like yung baba niya, you can just, you can just go there, my sockets, my fans, main live is open up until, up until 12 midnight. If you want a library na maraming stalls just for you, malamig din, economics, and maganda din yung library ng law. So if you need time to study, you can just stay around UP, you don't have to go out, you don't have to spend much. Just utilize the resources that we have and you're good to go. So lastly, know your hangout spots around UP. So you have Katipunan, Maginhawa, and everywhere there, so ang daming kainan, inuman, and study places. Where syempre mag-aaral tayo. Saan? Sa pop-up. Okay, so extra tip siguro, you have to bring a yellow pad paper index cards, lahat ng sizes, 2x2 photo and 1x1 photo. Kasi 
they are the essentials, especially in the first two weeks of classes. You can make a lot of good friends by just bringing yellow pads. So like I'm telling you, invest ka na, girl. It's an investment talaga. One thing I learned the hard way, di ka magsusurvive sa, sa UP nang wala kang payong. So always bring an umbrella, especially sa start ng classes. It's gonna be rainy season na. Even if you have your own car, girl, always bring an umbrella. As in, maaraw or umulan, you can't survive UP without one. <laughs> Walang extra tips! <laughs> Actually, mag-oops ka. Nakakaganda. Kaya di ako maganda. Ay! Sarayin mo ganda. Ano ba yan? Huwag yun siya, So, para naman sa mga maharot na freshies, or kahit hindi ka freshies, you know what? You have to know where to catch the fish sa iyo. As in, so if you want yung mga like business class, like people, gano'n yung mga like chinitos, mga pute, ganyan, ganyan. Shout out to my BFF, John Jacob Ang. Hello, sir. So, you have to go to the Mirata School of Business. Ganon. Tapos, sa Econ. Girl, you're gonna see them there. Like, as in, magbubuka siyang chunky na mga chinitos. But if you want naman the different kind, if you want like, well done, girl. Stay there. Well done, girl. Ganon. <laughs> you have to go to the CHK because there are football people, all the athletes. Nandun. Most of them, by the way, are nandun. So if you wanna, you know, just like spend your time, your free cut, na mag, you know, bird watch, then <laughs> you have to go to CHK. Shout out para to my BFF then uh, King Miyagi. Ma? Yes. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And I hope you guys learned something from us. Kaya hindi naman kami yung pinaka-importanting people sa YouTube.